Grant, how's it going, man? Oh, it's going fabulous. Yeah, going skydiving? Yes, sir. First time? Yes, sir. Nice. What's a special occasion? Yeah, just do it. Just doing it? Yeah. Nice. It's not an excellent Costco deal. Yeah, yeah Costco deal, 99 Costco bucks. Deal. So you want to say anything, say hi to anybody before we go? Just doing what my dad told me not to do. Yeah, buddy. So I was talking to a girl. Um, she found tandem tickets for $99 at Costco. Normally they're between $200 to $300. So we showed up to the drop zone. We were on a weather hold for about five hours because of clouds and whatnot. Hanging out, started talking to instructors, like asking them about their job, like what they do day to day. Learned that it's something I want to do. Hadn't been on a tandem yet, so I went up and jumped on my first jump. Landed, absolutely loved it. Went in, got my logbook, bought a second tandem, and then jumped again that day. And then the instructor that took me up on my first jump, he's like, hey, come hang out with us. So I hung out with him, slept in my car, and then jumped a third time the following day. So I did three jumps in my first weekend. And I was like, man, this is absolutely fantastic. And I, you guys get paid to jump out of airplanes every day. I was like, man, that absolutely sounds fantastic. So I ended up getting my license. I went back in the following day on Sunday, signed up for the course. A license takes 25 jumps. Um, after your A license, you get your B license. That's at 50 jumps and water training. After your B license, you get your C license at 200 jumps. And then you get your D license at 500 jumps. So to get your coach training, you need a hundred jumps and a B license. So that way, you know, you can heads up, almost heads up, but you're still pretty green in the sky. So, you know, you're just teaching the basics, like how to track, you know, swooping docks and just the basics of skydiving after the instructors teach the students the, the main ways of being stable. And then after my coach training, uh, I got my AFFI, which is advanced free fall instructor. Uh, about 350 jumps, 360, you need six hours of free fall time and your coach riding for a year. So once I had my coach riding for a year and I hit the next mark, which was 350 jumps, I got my AFF instructor rating. And then to get your tandem rating, you need 500 jumps and three years in the sport. If you don't have three years in the sport, but you have 500 jumps, you're not able to get it until you hit that three year mark. As a tandem instructor, my job is gonna be Harnessing the student, briefing the student, making sure I'm checking their harness before we walk to the plane, uh, walking with them to the plane, getting them on the plane, getting them seat belted in. Uh, once we get above 1500 feet, take their seat belts off. Uh, we connect the lowers to ourselves and then, you know, have a conversation on the plane, rebrief the jump, what we're doing. About 7,000 to 8,000 feet, start getting harnessed up. So connect the lowers, connect the uppers get everything cinched down, check them, check myself. So check the drogue, check the primary, check the secondary, check the cutaway handle, reserve, and then the RSL, make sure everything's seated and properly in the right spot. So that way we're ready to leave the plane. Once we get in the door, check the drogue again, make sure the drogue is set. Once we leave the plane, get the drogue out with, uh, and within 10 seconds, you know, have fun on the skydive, pull by 5,500 feet, and then depending on which play we're landing, we're either gonna do a left-hand pattern or a right-hand pattern, and we're landing right out here in the uh, landing area. Seeing the excitement on someone's face after they just jumped out of a perfectly good airplane, once we get back on the ground, you either have people that are super excited or you have people that are like, oh, I'm never doing that again. That's few and far between, but normally they're like, that was the most awesome thing I've ever done in my life. Like my new favorite thing, I'm gonna, I'll be back. A lot of high fives. I got a lot of sweet compliments in my log book from everybody. Cause all the tandem students that I take up on skydives, I always have them write my log book. So that way it's something different because it's always enjoyable. Everyone's experience is different. Now if we're doing an AFF jump, that's going to entail a little bit more because I'm going to take care of the student, make sure we brief them on the skydive. Um, normally we do two tandem progression, which A and B are on tandems. And then cat C is where we have two instructors leaving with the student, uh, giving them hand signals and whatever they need to be successful at that skydive. This is also a release dive as well. But on the ground, it starts with talking through the whole skydive, talking through the gear they're going to use, making sure it is appropriately sized making sure they have a jumpsuit, a helmet, a radio. We use the radio so that way if they need to make minor corrections under canopy, we can talk to them and make sure they're flying their canopy uh, safely. And then what we'll do, get them geared up. We'll put it in the door or the mock-up, walk through the whole skydive two to three times so that way it's fresh in their head. Then we will go over, over to the airplane, get in the airplane, get them buckled in, take off 1,500 feet, seat belts come off, 
and then once we're on the airplane we'll talk with them a little bit have them touch the handles in the order they're going to use them so main cutaway reserve and then we have them walk us through their skydive so what that entails is telling us what they're going to do uh, at, e at each altitude the decision altitude is 2500 feet if they're going to keep the primary canopy above their head or if they're cutting away to go to reserve and then the six thousands lock on 5500 wave off and pull so we brief all that and then we go through the skydive and then they pull for themselves or we will assist if need be and then once they get under canopy we will talk them down if we need to uh, the biggest thing is just making sure they're in their holding area and getting down safely and then we help them flare when when need be What's really rewarding is being able to teach them how to do it and then they crush it in that skydive and then you get down on the ground and they're super stuck because they actually passed the level and they didn't have to repeat it. So flying video, so that starts with when the loads come out, uh, there's a screen right behind you, all the loads are on the board and then what we do is take a look, it's going to tell me my passenger's name and then the tandem instructor. So I'll talk with the tandem instructor, gauge on what I need to wear, if I need to wear a jumpsuit, if I need to wear camera wings, or if I could just go as is. It really depends on the customer and what's going on. Once they're harnessed up, get a quick uh, interview with them. Um, if they're with family, try to include the family with them, make sure that you know everyone that they came with, make sure they can shout out people who they want to shout out and then once the interview is done just hang out relax with them and then while we're walking to the plane get some more video of them climbing into the plane and then after the plane takes off get some video from inside the airplane uh, and then once we get up to about 9,000 feet I start getting ready put my helmet on goggles what I need to do and then I'll climb out first check in with a tandem instructor will come into the door he'll check in with me and then once he's ready to leave then we're going to leave so then Try to be on level with them, hang out with them, have fun, relax, get some good video. And then at 5,500 feet, tandem's gonna pull. And then I'll go down about 4,500 to 4,000 feet, deploy my main parachute. And then I'll beat them to the ground and then catch their landings and then get an exit interview. I hope my students take away at the end of the day, if I'm their videographer, we were laughing the whole time. We were getting great photos with them, with their families. Everyone that came out had a fantastic day. If I'm taking a tandem, what I want them to walk away with a life-changing experience. Because at the end of the day, skydiving changes a lot of people's lives for the better. Because people are getting over their fears, conquering something that, you know, they may be going through. Just having fun in the camaraderie of the skydiving community. I was in a tough spot and went out and did a tandem. I was like, man, there's a whole lot more to life than just sitting at home on the weekends playing video games. Video games are great, but... What do you do on video games? You talk to people online and you never interact with people. In skydiving, you can interact with people daily, which is really awesome because you meet new people from all over the world. I've got friends now all over the world just through skydiving that I would never would have made before if I was sitting at home playing video games. Safety is the number one priority. If you're just showing up and you're throwing all carelessness to the wind and having fun, good on you, but you're not gonna make it very long in the sport. Something's gonna happen, you're gonna hurt yourself. Um, biggest mindset is being safe, making sure you're doing your gear checks, making sure you're checking your friends. My mindset for the day is make sure I walk away safely and make sure all my friends walk away safely. Because what I don't wanna have to do is respond to an emergency out in the landing area because someone either got hurt or unfortunately they passed away. So if something happens, just stay cool, calm and collected and then figure out the situation and handle it as you need be.